Hey guys, tonight's story is called The Night Before Valentine's Day. And um, there are a lot of these books. Um, I have the one for St. Patrick's Day. I have the one for Easter. Hmm. I'm not sure how many more of them there are, but I have quite a few of them. So you'll see more of these um, as time goes by. So it says, The Night Before Valentine's Day. Here's the dedication page. It says, To all my February birthday friends, whom I love dearly. And then it says, To my sweetheart Jay, who gave me an engagement ring 20 years ago on Valentine's Day. So here's the title page. Um, this story was written by Natasha Wing, and it was illustrated by Heidi Patak. I'm not really sure, honest, P-Tech. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. No idea. T'was the night before Valentine's Day, and all through the town, children were busy not making a sound. So if we look in their windows, what do you think they're doing? I see paper in her hand. I see a pencil in that little boy's hand. I see a shape that looks a lot like a heart in his hand and a pencil. <clears throat> and then this little girl down here, she looks like she's working on something too. So what do you think they're doing? You think they might be making Valentine's Day cards for their friends? They gathered their scissors, their glitter and glue, pink and red paper, and paintbrushes too. They made cards that read, Will you be mine? And others that said, My true Valentine. They trimmed giant hearts with stickers and lace and added an arrow in just the right place. Then marking the envelopes with each friend's name, they hoped that their friends were doing the same. And when they were done, they slept snug in their beds, while visions of candy hearts danced in their heads. We'll look at what these say. This one says, true blue, love you, say yes, princess, kiss me, and miss me. Oops, and there's one more. Oops, there's two more. Uh, this one says, come back. And this one says, ah! <laughs> I think he's trying to get away. The very next morning, it was Valentine's Day. They grabbed all their cards and went on their way. They're getting on the school bus, headed to school. The classroom was decked out in pink, oops, sorry, in red, pink, and white with balloons and streamers so festive and bright. Look how pretty those decorations are. Everybody looks so happy. Well, this kid looks like he's a little bit surprised. I'm not sure what's going on with him, but everybody else looks happy and they're all helping each other. Someone dropped by with a giant bouquet addressed to the teacher who blushed right away. The card was signed from a secret admirer, but everyone knew it was Mr. O'Meyer. And there he is. He's standing outside the door. He wants to see what her reaction is. Now, wasn't that nice? And when it says that she blushed, when you're embarrassed, um, your face turns red, and then we call that blushing. I think we talked about that in one of the other stories I read to you guys. They played pin the heart and won goofy toys. And girls ran away from kissy face boys. He's trying to give her a kiss and she's like, I don't think so. She's, she took off running away from him. Aw, look at the little fishies. The little fishies are kissing. That's cute. 
The art teacher came and painted kids' faces. She put hearts on cheeks and sillier places. So if you see this little girl, she's getting the hearts on her cheeks. He got, and they both got hearts on their noses. That's really cute. It's like there's somebody was playing tic-tac-toe. At last, it was time to deliver the cards. Look, one for Lisa, Jim, and Bernard. They opened them up, read them, and smiled, and laughed at the cards that were totally wild. Look at that one. She opened it up, and it says, Be My Love Bug. And when she opened it, um, it looks like they had used like a pipe cleaner or something so that when she opened it, the little bug would pop out. Now, isn't that cute? That was pretty creative. Then they ate goodies, sweet cherries and grapes, and drank punch with ice cubes and little heart shapes. And just when they thought the party was done, a knock on the door came at quarter past one. Who do you think that is at the door? Hmm. When what to their wondering eyes should appear, but the principal himself dressed in full Cupid gear. His arrows held golden, his bow curved and tight. The wig that he wore was a comical sight. See that wig up there? That's a mess. Look at those socks. My goodness. And the kids, you can see how funny they think he is, too. When it says that he was a comical sight, that means that he was really funny. He looked really funny. He spoke not a word and was gone in a minute, leaving a present behind. Now what could be in it? What do you think's in that box? They read Cupid's note as he leapt down the hall. Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. So here's the note that said, Happy Valentine's Day to one and to all. And what was their gift? A new class pet. Looks like a, um, a hamster. Too cute.